Hello, good morning, my YouTube beauties. I hope you had a restful, beautiful night's sleep. I slept so good, I overslept. I was late for work today. <laughs> and Uber, I don't know what's wrong with y'all, but y'all hiking up the prices. Stop, stop it. I live in New York City and I work in Flatbush by Brooklyn College. I live in Brownsville, Brooklyn. Now, anybody who live in Brooklyn know it ain't supposed to be no $53 to get to know Brooklyn College. And I've been working at the same school for since last year, around what? I wanna say March, April last year. And um, I ain't never paid no $53. I don't take Uber every day. I take Uber like once a month. This week I took it twice. I just was, oh, I just couldn't get up. <laughs> Yesterday I was on time though. But today I was late, my first time late. So um, I wanted to talk about Shanquilla Robinson really quick. And I just wanted to encourage y'all, this may be cliche, but it's so important to listen to your gut. If your gut is telling you, and I'll be the first to admit it, I hang out with a lot of people, right? But I travel with family and significant others, right? I had one girl's trip. I had to pay for everything. She was dragging her feet to pay me back. I look on Facebook, she gets a new car. And I pretty much had to like nudge her to pay me back. So after that experience, it kind of like low key traumatized me. And plus me personally, I know what personality I can handle days at a time. That's just me. Like if I've never been to your house and I don't, and we've never spent the night together, I'm not traveling with you. You know what I mean? Like my father, my son, and whoever I'm dating, I know their habits. Like with my ex, both my exes, we travel together. They spend up to a week with me. Like my ex, we still cool. You know, he's a cool person. We still friends. And, um, you know, um, we could spend up to a week together, two weeks together. I never get tired of him. He didn't get tired of me. So it's a personality thing with me. If you a person who, um, it's a, it's a long laundry list, but if you are a person who complain and you miserable or you like to party, but you, you drink a little too much, I look at all of that. I'm very, very observant. We're very observant. Even though it seemed like I'm not observing you, I sit back and I watch. I don't care how long I've known you. If I feel like you a cheap person, because when you're on vacation, you cannot be cheap. Expenses will pop up. You're going to end up paying for stuff that you wouldn't. So if I know you cheap, we're not going on no trip together. Or if I know that you get drunk and you can't remember stuff, I'm not traveling with you. Like there's so, there's a long list of reasons right and for me personally i'm 34 years old i don't travel with nobody if it's not my father my son or someone i'm dating period you know um i went with a family member to ac and i knew that it was going to be weird and i still went and i'm like you see this is why i can't do girl trips she was acting like all macho and she wasn't listening to me and then when she was in the wrong, she want to use her her, um, her ID from work. And she's not even a cop. Stuff like that is very annoying to me. And I knew it was going to happen. And I still went. And I'm like, you see, this is what I can't do. So, <laughs> so now, however, some people, y'all are blessed with good friends and shit like that. And congratulations. I mean, I'm happy for you. But for most of us, most of us have friends, but the traveling with the friends is not going to work because you're dealing with different personalities. You're dealing with, instead of dealing with this person for a night, you're dealing with this person for four or five and sometimes ten days at a time. I'm very short-tempered. I get easily annoyed. So if I'm traveling with you, we have to get along. 
you have to listen to me and it's not i'm not gonna sit here and say i'm an alpha female but i know what i'm talking about so when it comes to certain just like with my ex when we went to puerto rico we was gonna go clubbing but when we got out the uber it looked kind of shady i didn't even have to say nothing to him he was like oh back in the uber like we was on one accord feel me he didn't say oh we out here no there's no i we not with disagreeing and that's why I say he's a perfect travel partner. Perfect. Perfect travel partner. I didn't have to say, let's get back in the Uber. He be in one accord. And that's the type of person you have to travel with. If people who like dangerous stuff and they want to go and, and find weed, no. <laughs> Bring your weed with you. You know, you can't be going other places and find and smoke with people and they they put something in your weed and now i can't find you i'm not going to do all of that <laughs> you know i'm not going through that like you know and um with shanquella only one of the people she really knew like that was her so-called best friend and this is not to bash trans or whatever but to my ladies a lot of these gay men they want to be you. They want they they want to be women, and they want the attraction that the way men are attracted to you and you having sex with men. That's what they want. So you have to be very mindful of that. It's the same thing with a female that's jealous of you. It's very obvious when another female is jealous of you, but sometimes it's hard to tell if your male best friend is jealous of you. And I'm gonna tell you the signs. If he's criticizing you, if he now they didn't make a movie out of this or nothing like that, but I'm just speculating. If when you go out, you got to pay for stuff. Now, they said that she paid for the whole trip, mind you, including her seven people. That's utterly ridiculous. That's the first sign that a person is jealous of you because it's, they want you to pay for everything. So they have it in their mindset, oh, because she had two businesses. Let me tell you something. Just because somebody has a business, that doesn't mean that they're rich. Common sense, you should know, like, okay, she don't got it like that. She's a new entrepreneur. She's a new business person. Some people don't have common sense or compassion, right? So that's the red flag number one. She paying for everybody. Like, she big mama or something. Like, you know, no. Let motherfuckers pay for themselves. That's first one. Second one, if you're going on a trip, you need to know everybody personally. There's no such thing as somebody bringing somebody you ain't never met. Or, no, we not doing that. And, my ladies, you got to be more strict because you're going to another country. You're sharing a room with someone for several days you need to know that person i'm sorry you know so all these extra people she did not know them and they was from her school just because you go to school with somebody just because you work with somebody that don't mean that they know you and that don't mean that you know them so it sounds like she was just lured into a situation and the friend had it in his mind he was going to end her life now the rumor is allegedly she got somebody beat up and this was a retaliation i don't know if i believe that but let's say if it's true this is why you got to be careful don't be you know how many people ask me to travel with them outside the country so many people i lost count and i say no because if if i know i can't tolerate you for days at a time I'm not doing it. Or if I feel like I don't really know you. There's a lot of people who I only see them once or twice a year because we're so busy. I'm not traveling outside the country with you and I only see you four times a year. I'm not doing that. I'm sorry. I'm not doing that because I don't really know you. I've never spent the night in your house. You never spent the night in my house. I don't know if you snore. I don't know if you dirty because I know myself. And if you're dirty... I'm going to tell you you're dirty to your face and you're not going to like me. If you snore, I'm going to tell you stop snoring. Or I'm going to tell you you need to... Like, I get on people's nerves because I'm very, very meticulous. Now, some people might say it's narcissism. Call it what you want. But I like things a certain way. 
I like the room a certain way. You can't leave your drawers and panties on the floor. I'm not tolerating that. Like, there's a lot of things that go on in girl trips. People throw up in the bathroom. They don't clean up behind themselves. I'd be damned if any of that happens. You know, people are messy. People are dirty. People got chips on the floor. I'm not going through that. <laughs> I'm not, you know. And especially if I've never been to your, your house, I've never been inside of your room. Damn sure I'm not traveling with you because you could be dirty. <laughs> I'm not traveling with you. And then we get in trouble by the hotel and we got to pay extra fees because you messed up the hotel room. I'm not going through that. I'm not nobody mama. I have one child. So to avoid all of that, I don't do girl trips. Sorry. Unless if I meet someone and we spending a lot of time together. Because when I did do my girl trip, I spent the night at her house before. No. Matter of fact, she spent the night at my house before. I never spent the night at her house, but we spent a lot of time together, me and this girl. So I felt like I knew her. Like we, when I say a lot of time, like we was hanging out hard. She lived in Long Island, I lived in Brooklyn, but we we hung out a lot. I mean, we was on the phone. And when we wasn't hanging out, we was on the phone every day, sometimes two, three times a day. We were both busy women, but we made time for each other. We were inseparable. So I felt good about the. Now other people in my life, I'm barely on the phone with them. Um, one particular girl, we just text because you know, she's like she got the kids, whatever. And then another friend of mine, she just be busy, I guess. Like, if we can't even talk on the phone every day, I'm not traveling with you. <laughs> if I only see you, like I said, the friends that I have, I barely see. I see them like. Four or five times a year. My my lifestyle now is very different from my 20s. I don't see my friends very often. You know. So, no. I'm not traveling with them because I feel like I don't really know them like that. I've known them for years but don't really know them. You know what I'm saying? So, with Shanquilla, Shanquilla Robinson's situation is one of my young people. It's okay to go on family trips. That don't make you corny. It's okay to go on vacations. It's okay for that when your friends ask you to travel. No, I think I'm going to go with my man this year. And it's okay to tell them that. It's okay to not go on girl trips. Girl trips, friendships are very important, of course. But if it's going to cost you your life, it ain't worth it. If they making you pay for a trip, oh, I'll pay you back. Don't go for it. Don't go for it. The first question should be, don't y'all got jobs? Why do I have to pay for everything? You know, so Shanquilla Robinson's story, I hope they make a movie about it. I hope we get the real story as to why they did this to her because nobody deserves it. But it's like, it's very rare that you have a people, group of people that somebody knew and they just going to do that to her for no reason. Like, what's in her lifestyle that you know, that caused this. It just doesn't make sense to me. Like, we all have enemies, but damn. <laughs> but damn, you know, it really makes you wonder what type of lifestyle she was leading. You know, I'm not victim blaming. By no means, don't nobody come at me. <laughs> I'm not victim blaming, but I'm curious as to know what the hell did she do for that man to be so angry? All of us have gay guy friends. All of us have, you know, men that's jealous of us and stuff like that. But for them to want to physically harm us, they might threaten us, but they don't do it. And then they, and then she didn't fight back. So that's another thing. Why didn't she fight back? Is it because, you know, she was that drunk? But they said that they didn't find any alcohol in her system. So was she on drugs? Is it true with the rumor they said how she set somebody up and that was a retaliation thing? Is that true? It's so many, it's more questions to this story than anything. This is one of the most, no, this is the most confusing case. You know, it's so confusing because yes, there's a video, but we don't know the why. We don't know the why. 
We don't know if that was a retaliation thing and they just lured her. We don't know anything. I pray for peace for that family. And I also pray for answers. Justice, yes. But it needs to be answers as to look in her diary, look in her text messages. That's another thing. They need to get her phone and look through her text messages. Because you could tell a whole lot about someone's life just by their text messages. What was her conversations like with these people? What was her conversations like with that alleged best friend? Were they fighting? Were they arguing? Did they have a love-hate relationship? We need to know this. And those are my thoughts.